thought she was T. Yeah. Uh-huh. T. You girl got things under control. She got things under control, baby. <laughs> girl Aaliyah a holiday and I am back with another video hmm. so let's be clear today is July 18th it's about 11 something at night I am currently watching Aaliyah J first vlog back welcome back boo but as I was watching her video she said a couple of things and she was just like you know she needed that time to get herself together and then she was also seeing how um it was like a confirmation that she needed to get back to being herself. So with me, when she said that, I was like, Leah, that's a confirmation you need to do what you love. And if you don't know me, I love YouTube. Like, I don't watch cable at all. <laughs> I will watch here and there, but if it's like, if I go to somebody's house and they have it on, I'm going to watch it. But me turning to it, mm -mm. me going home to hurry up because Love and Hip Hop are coming on or something like that. No, that's not me. Um not into cable tv like that um that's why i picked up my camera and with that being said i did want to come on camera and be a little more transparent with you guys um so you guys can get to know me a little more especially for those who don't know me at all um let's just say this um i have a baby as you guys know if you watched some of my previous videos and of course you know i have a son he is one years old about to turn two in october and i love my son so very much like i'm obsessed with my son <laughs> okay um but right now he's currently with his dad yay so i got a break and i'm excited i'm not really doing much to be honest not doing nothing and have nothing planned at all to honestly to do nothing um but to clean up yeah so while he's with his dad i'm gonna just clean up and pack some more start packing actually um so i did want to come on camera be transparent um about a lot of things so if you go back and watch some of my videos especially my labor and labor and delivery video um you will see my son's father is in that video right um so yeah, if you did not know, um, while I was pregnant, I was also engaged. Um, the engagement did not go as planned because of COVID. So that kind of like messed up the whole engagement. Um, however, I ended up having the baby shower and that went like, that was over the top for me. I loved my baby shower. Like my baby shower was tea. Shout out to my event planner, like in memoir, she was tea. Yeah uh-huh tea but yeah um after the baby shower i had my son um after i had my son um that's when the split happened so me and my son's father broke up um we called off the engagement and i moved back home home is north florida i was living in south florida it's just so we are um on the same page so i moved back home right <laughs> um went through my postpartum depression phase i did not have a job i did not have a job so i was looking for a job kind of some days some days i would not um when my son was about eight nine months is when i got a job um put him in daycare i cried boo hoo hoo yes i cried not because he went to daycare i cried because it was just a fear of someone hurting my child and I don't know. After that, um, got the job. I was not too happy with the job. I'm going to say that. Because it, it wasn't in my field. So the job is not in my field. So I was like, it's just a job. Dude. You need the money. Like, you need the income. And it was an easy job and it was a flexible schedule. That's why I love the job, right? I'm actually growing to love the job with that being said. I'm growing to love the job because... With the direction I want to go, I'm still helping others. It's just not the generation that I want to help. That's all. Um, so, yeah, I am got a promotion. Got a promotion of job. So, I am currently supervisor at my job. And I am happy about that, to be honest. Because, you know, more income. I'm able to 
put me and my son in our own apartment. Um, I'm able to feed us without any government assistance. Things of that nature. So, you know, my life is good. I can't, I cannot complain. Of course, I want more out of it. I'm not going to sit here and just settle for this. I definitely want more. Um, I don't plan to stay in my hometown longer than two years, to be honest. I'm just, I, don't, I won't say two years. Um, I'm just not letting him start. I'm not letting my son start um, school. I guess you would say like preschool, kindergarten here in this county. So I want to make sure I saved up enough money. And that way, been to establish myself in my career in any other area. So that when I do move, I am financially okay. And I don't have to worry about anything if that makes sense so um on top of all of that the breakup um it did affect me um it also affected my postpartum depression um but me getting that job i won't lie it pulled me out of it and it made me snap back into reality like me sitting in the house was like really crazy but i think me getting up out of the house and getting a job was the best thing i could have done for myself during my postpartum depression um i'm not here to bash my son's father so if you're looking for me to do that i'm not that female i'm not going to do that i never would do that on camera and besides my son's father take care of him um in the areas that he need to so i'm thankful for that you know i can't can't complain about that um so yeah um on top of all of that being single moving back home um, getting a job getting a promotion on top of all of that I was also practicing celibacy so I'm still practicing celibacy at the moment um, which is good going good for me um, I think the breakup with my ex-fiance is what drove me into the celibacy so I'm okay with that you know I'm just learning to love myself again fully like fully 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 love myself um meaning i can take myself out on dates i do what it is i want to do i don't wait on nobody i don't wait on no man to buy me no designer bag no designer nothing like baby girl i've been buying my own okay my own stuff so i'm happy about that um moving i'm actually moving i forgot about that part so um got the position now I, it's time to move out so in the last vlog you saw me shopping around for furniture and stuff like that so that is why i'm shopping around for furniture because i'm actually moving into my own apartment so when i moved back home to my hometown i actually did move back into the house that i grew up in which is why hence you see like the pink walls they like pinkish purple it's not really pink it's like a purple pink okay <laughs> but as you see um this is why i've been out shopping looking for home decor furniture and stuff like that and i have brought things um i will show you guys definitely when i move into the apartment vlogs are going to be hitting once i move it's just a lot going on right now your girl got things under control she got things under control baby so in the middle of me moving back home and um having my son becoming a single mom i was just like what the hell like how the hell did my life even get here like literally i questioned myself and was like how the hell did my life get here like what signs did i not see and to be honest it was a lot of signs that i did not see um when it came to relationships with a man relationships with um friends it was it was a lot of things i just did not see so i want to touch bases on feeling like you're stuck right like feeling like you're stuck you're not stuck you guys i promise you everyone needs to understand it's a time and a season for everyone and you have to realize when it's your season and when it's not your season and you also have to be patient and you also have to be obedient and you also have to be a servant of the lord like you cannot expect blessings when you are not doing nothing that god wants you to do and when i say what he wants you to do i mean simple things that's already bad was like be an obedient child if you don't believe in god please go ahead and turn off this this channel um because it's just my beliefs so i'm going to talk about it so yeah um <laughs> you cannot expect blessings to come you guys when 
you're not being the obedient child. And when I say that, I mean it like all the way around. Um, me practicing cel celibacy, me not arguing with people when I am being provoked. Trust me, being provoked, like literally to being talked about and not saying nothing. That's that's you being obedient. You may not think that, but that's definitely you being obedient. So things of that nature has happened. Um, what else can I say that has happened? Um, you know, making ends meet, not spending unnecessary money. That's being obedient. Spending the money on things that you need to spend the money on. That's definitely being obedient. Um, so, you know, it's good to go out here and there with your friends or whoever you may go out with. But you also have to learn to separate yourself when God is trying to elevate you as well. I just learned recently that separation has made my elevation higher and higher and higher. And I'm loving it. Like when I say I'm loving it, I feel like I'm flowing on cloud nine. Like how my blessings have been flowing because it was like everything was happening like this. And then now it's like I'm just slowly but surely climbing up that hill and honestly i won't even gonna say slowly because all of this has happened since january since january my life has been like on a go literally on a go so i'm kind of happy about that and i pray that it continues to rise and my blessings continue to flow y'all it's gonna be times where you may feel lonely you're gonna feel very lonely especially if you don't have a child luckily i have a child so sometimes i can just play with him or you know we just do mother son things so i love that for myself to be honest instead of going out to the club because it kind of refocused my mind because when i go out to the club i spend so much money i have to get my hair done i have to make sure my nails and my toes done i have to make sure i have a new outfit like going out for me is very expensive like very very expensive and i'm starting to realize that um and it's, it doesn't have to be for anybody else but that's just for me like it's it's expensive for me and it's not it's like a it's like a a pleasure but then i realized like damn i did all of that for one night i could have spent that on a bag <laughs> <laughs> like a bag makes me more happy a pair of heels makes me more happy like a designer pair of glasses makes me happy like you get what i'm saying like stuff like that like that's how i'm starting to look at a lot of things like i would rather spend that money somewhere else where i can see it where i can wear it you know so yeah um with that being said again separation equals elevation so don't be mad when it happens because it's going to happen i'm just being real with you guys um but yeah i don't know where i'm going to put this in what video just know you guys will see this one day i don't know when but you guys will see this one day it's going to be in the vlog and i'm gonna be happy when you guys see it i'm surprised i did not cry doing this i'm surprised i did not cry i'm happy i did not cry um because i want to be very transparent with you all so that you all can get to know me a little better and i wanted you guys to know exactly what has happened because i know y'all probably like okay in the hospital she was with her son's father now all of a sudden all you see is just her son so that is what happened i'm no longer engaged i am a single mother a proud single mother i am happy i am practicing celibacy i am a supervisor i am elevating in my life and yeah everything good is happening for me literally everything good um so i'm happy about that and i continue that good things continue to happen for me um for me and my son let's be clear for me and my son so that we can benefit um of each other and yeah i am hoping to get the vlog started as far as moving um just know it's coming very soon so i can't wait you guys see everything that i have y'all gonna really love it it's gonna be it's gonna be cute okay it's not gonna be too girly because i do have a son so the home is gonna be cute modern and cute okay other than that i think that was all that i wanted to talk with you guys about i'm just really surprised i didn't cry like i'm very surprised um i have on these glasses i do not wear glasses okay i have on these glasses because i was watching Aaliyah j 
blu-ray glasses so when i look at the computer all day at work and then come home and look at the computer again it's like okay Aaliyah, you're gonna mess up your eyes so i put these on my hair is not done which is another reason why i picked up i haven't been picking up the camera but i want to be again transparent with you all because i wanted you all to see what it's like what it's like being a black single mother hmm and the transparency and the things that I've been through and the things that I'm going through and the elevation that is taking place in my life. I want you guys to honestly witness it. So, yes, you will see this. I just don't know when you all will see this. But with that being said, I love you all. Continue to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in another vlog.